Hello! I'm working in my second Valentine card for this holiday and um, let me show you what materials I will use. I was looking um, new papers that I bought uh, like two days ago and one of them is this beautiful flowery design that has pink, red and white. So I'm using that paper. I'm using a very glittery red. Uh, this is a red with a light red in the background. And um, for ribbons, I'm using this silvery um, plants to make arts. I will use also some glitter and glossy accent. The stamps that I'm using is the... this is Upton Dirt and Lucille Sends Her Love. This is from Stampin' Bella and the message that it has is sending you colors of... Ah, every time that I'm doing cards she comes with a squeeze cookie book toy. What are you doing? Sorry. Then I'm using uh, from Cricut. Um, and just because the cards, I only want this part. Okay. So, oh yeah, the card will be five by seven. Card and envelope. So, let's do it. Okay, I got my card, my paper. This is the card, will be 5x7. The first color that will be the background for the card will be the red one. And I cut also in 5x7, exactly the same size. And then I cut this one just a little smaller to be the second one. You can also go if you want like this, like leaving a little wide if you want. I just wanted to go in this way. I print, I stamped my girl previously and I painted. Now let me tell you, I was not sure how I wanted to do this part if I put it, the glitter in all the dress or only in the border. Well, I noticed that when you put the glitter in all the dress it begins to get a little crazy my paper. So I have to do again and that was the reason I decided to go. This is the border that I did with the Cricut. So I have a border to put here. Now I didn't want that go just directly in that one. So I will go for a red color kind of close to the other one and just go for the borders again. Like I say, I love to give a little of that kind of touch, you know. So now, before I put all together, I will put first, let me put a base here. First, I will go for this and this together. Now, before I put this one here, 
I was planning to do with the ribbon. Put a little Now we can put together here. You can do without this if you want, you can do with that. Now we will go for this one. I'm not sure if I will put um yeah maybe we'll put a little of this. Okay, I have all the dimension stickers there, and I would put in this part. There is now. I need to put a what I did is. I have the title in this way to put there. I was thinking that I want it to be not sticking all over, just having that dimension, you know what I mean? So, actually, So it's still popping there. So in this glitter paper I perforate some 
of the herbs go to the back side and I draw some of them too that I will cut because I don't have that shape so to one of them because I was trying to see what happened I did good glossy but I will do it now after I finish so I can know where I have everything going we'll put dimensional stickers to them too they have to be really small that is the reason I keep cutting them Really, really small, tiny, tiny. Okay, to finish this part of the card, um, I want to put Okay, the car is ready. Now I want to show you, I love to do my envelopes 
coordinating with the card. So what I will do is I will go with this one, cut there. I will get a little of the So here is the project. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little more elaborated than the other ones. You need a little time to let the glitter dry, the stamps. So take your time. I will say do the stamp first. Stamping with the glitters, let it dry, and then build the card. And yes, I love the to have everything coordinating so if you want to do it that is a good way to do it. <laughs>